views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying, and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. listening to R.A.P. Paranormal and Friends with your hosts, Kim Purvis and Allison Robinson. Make sure to check us out on our Facebook pages, R.E.P. Paranormal and Friends and R.E.P. Paranormal Busters, for up-to-date show information and events. Welcome to R.E.P. Brown and Friends. I know it's been a hot minute since we've been live, but we are live today to <coughs> talk about some upcoming expos that we may or may not be at and maybe some haunted locations. Uh, but first, um, I hope everybody's uh, spring, summer, whatever you want to call this weather they're having is going good. But if you have not been listening, make sure to listen to us. Check out all the ones that you've missed lately um, on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeart. Apple, wherever you listen to your podcast at. Um, we have some uh, upcoming shows that are going to be interesting coming up here, too, in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for those. And uh, um, let's see here. Kim has the list for me because we're going to be at an expo and I know nothing about it. Hey, Darren. It's at Melbourne Manor. Okay, so... It is called... It is called Medical Mania, right? And it's taking place at a haunted location, which is pretty cool. Um, this is a list of some of the people that are going to be here. Mm-hmm. Um, Josh Hurd. We have Carla Anderson, who's going to do ceramic candles, dragons, light, drink, and more. We have Traveler's Moon, with, uh, you, well, most of you probably know. Some of you don't know, um, which is Chris and Kelly. Um, we have Ray Rose Paranormal. We're going to be there. Um, let's see here. DC, Metaphysical, and more. It's going to have crystals, resin jewelry, 3D printed items, tarot cards, candles, etc. Our uh, yours truly, Kim and Allison, will be there. Um, I don't know if we're cutting out or not because I can't hear us and I didn't do a test run. So hopefully not. Um, I'm showing that our, our sound is good on our end, so um, we have Dragon Dancer Designs, which are going to be fire wrap jewelry, all shapes and sizes, custom wrapped, pink lamb crochet, cryptic stuffed animals, gold doilies, crystal bags, tarot card holders, uh, Genesis Creations and Designs, it's going to be macrame, um, I'm not sure how to say this, is it? Yeah, Adam Saining, crystals, soapstone animals, tarot cards, chimes, singing bowls, spells, cards, stone items, uh, Marsha's Wick, oh, Wicked Creations, um, we got Witchy Business, that's going to have pendulums, meditation kits, spell jar kits, charms, jewelry, lip balm, Rory dolls, phone charms, oral cards, boho cross, body bags, and decals. We have Rory's Roadies with Freshies, freeze dry candy, keychains, 3D printed tarot boxes, 3D printed items, Allison Creations, Gemstone Rocks Incense, you have Megan Day, Dream Catchers, Woodbring Candles, Rock Wraps, Omaha 3D with 3D printed items, Diane Davis, Tarot Reader, um, I Sarah Herb, sorry if I'm butchering, butchering names. <laughs> um, herbal lotions, salves, balms, skincare oils, and more. Plant uh, Planet Paisley. Um, you're gonna have Glow by Sam, body butter, body oils, face serum, roll on perfumes, paranormal exposures. Um, you're gonna have black scrying mirrors, which boxes or bottle handmade paintings. Uh, Wasaki Paranormal is gonna be there. Very cool. It's gonna have rem pods, which items, videos, tarot card readings. Karen's Creations, handmade jewelry, candles with herbs, crystals, home decor, upcycled clothing, art, and much more. Divine Enchantment, LLC, Crystal Sage, Incense, Tarot Cards, Bracelets, and Dream Catchers. Bridget Bauman, uh, Reiki, Crystal Jewelry, and more. Moxie Creations, Tumblers, Loaded Tees, T-shirts, and more. Daniel's Baked Goodies, so there's going to be miscellaneous baked goods. 
and indigo and ether reiki charge candles soaps and lotions non-toxic candles wax melts and some crystal items and this will go back to the description and now we'll go to the description well she wanted me to read those off first before she lost that part on the page because yeah, i had everything <laughs> yeah. so this is this is what's happening okay so this is what to expect so if you're in the area come say hi i'd love to hear from y'all all right so crafting show 10 a.m to 6 p.m on saturday june 22nd right so 22nd this next weekend yeah next weekend and then 10 a.m to 4 p.m on sunday cash five dollar uh, only admission to get the door. All admission is being donated to the manor. There's 27 vendors, which is pretty cool for that. For that, um, come get everything from crafty items, metaphysical healings, and tarot readings, free dry candy, 3D printed items, crystals, gemstones, crystal jewelry, apothecary resin items, paranormal investigators, etc. Also, the manor will be doing tours at 12, 2, and 4 on both days. And you can contact um, Dana or Dustin Creel if you have any questions. Um, so. And I know they're having... They'll be selling walking tacos, beef burgers, chips, pop water, baked goods as well. And I know they're selling tickets for an event with an investigation for Saturday night. Okay. All right. I don't remember how much that was going to cost the tickets, so... All right. But they're going to give somebody a chance to investigate with the paranormal people that's there. I'm not sure what's going on. They're saying it's skipping, but it's showing good on our end, so I don't know. I haven't had my laptop hooked up for like a week, so, you know... Um, Kim's gonna listen and I can't, test it. it won't, it won't oh, yeah, that's right. She got a different function. Now she can't hook up to it. Um, maybe I can try something real quick here. One second. It's been so long since I've done a live show. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, the last one we did was the investigation. It was on my computer. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I just switched the settings, so let me know how it goes. But, um, yeah, so this is like our second expo, like, whatever you want to call it. Yep. That we've ever done. The other one was... And, and that was uh, Kelly's Expo eight, eight nine years ago, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Oh, yeah. So it's been a hot minute. And then we got another expo coming up in August. August. Yes. In Benton. Yep. We'll be at Benton County, so come check us out there. Uh, love to see your faces if you're close by. If not, sorry about your luck. I guess. <laughs> yeah, and if we don't sell out at Melbourne, we will have t-shirts Benton too. Yep. So we got some t-shirts that we want to get rid of. So. Hop on that. Um, yeah, I, did, I didn't get orbs made because my lights haven't come in. No, oh, dang, that sucks. I know. I wanted to sell some of those. But yeah. August. August. Hopefully, fingers crossed, your lights come in and get her done. <coughs> um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting. I don't know, like, I hope, I don't know if everybody plans on staying there. If they got hotels or what? I've got hotels. There's, I think, a total of five of us. It's going to be sleepy in a manner the whole okay. weekend. Okay. Right. We're, we're the security guards. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> don't come near me. I will whoop your ass. <laughs> And we do need fans because we're stuck upstairs. Oh, Lord have mercy. Us and Travis are stuck upstairs. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> there's there's other people that are upstairs. But, but, yeah. Yeah, we're heading towards Susie's room. Okay. And Travis is down the attic hallway. Oh, dang. <laughs> right. about four, three or four doors from Hank's room. Okay. All right. All right. And they're leaving the main rooms open. I know Susie's, Captain's, Hank's, the attic. Mm-hmm. And... Rebecca's, you know, for yeah, the tour and stuff. Uh -huh. No one will be sitting in those rooms at all. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we're going to find some fans then. Otherwise, we might be sleeping in our birthday suits. <laughs> <Well, laughs> well, or sleeping out on the lawn. Well, we could sleep downstairs yeah, yeah. where it's cooler. But, True. But when we're sitting... No, the then we don't want to be sitting in our birthday <laughs> suits. <laughs> <laughs> when people... Yeah, we've got to find a couple fans. Yes. we got to find some fans. They right. check all electricity, so... They say all the outlets work in the room. We'll right. find out. We'll find out because, you know. I'm not know. sure where our room is. Okay. Upstairs. Yeah. I just know it's down. I'm going towards Susie's room. I don't okay. know which room. We're probably stuck in the closet. Maybe it's the one with the bucket that's been sitting there since I um had to take all the water out when it stormed. That bucket is still sitting in there. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. They could put us in a corner somewhere probably. We don't have that much. So no, we don't. Because I'm cutting down on the equipment taking, so mm -hmm. we don't have that much to take. Yeah. Because we got everything else to do. Yeah. Did your seat fold down? It does fold down. Okay, because we need, we got to have our own table. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I got the table. Okay. I just got to make sure you're... <laughs> yeah, the seat does fold down, okay. so we're going to have to get crafty and creative on how we're going to store everything That's in there. That's why I was eliminating some of the stuff we take yep. so we don't have to carry so much. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, holy shit, I got to get a damn table upstairs. Oh, Lord. Well, it folds up. <laughs> <laughs> it folds up. The legs fold up. Oh, man. I don't know why it sounds choppy or anything, because I switched the settings, so everything is showing up pretty good on our end. So, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. It could be the internet, too. Our yeah. internet might be kind of crap. It's, it's it so hot yet. out and everything. 
It's nice Monday morning, but we're up there for a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but sorry about it. If it is, we're very, very sorry. Yeah, but it's going to be interesting. Hopefully, you know, since I got all these vendors, hopefully they get a good turnout. I hope so. Is that... They're, this next week, they're going around Ohio Council Bluffs and putting up banners. And oh, okay. Flyers and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. So we should get a decent crowd from those big cities. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully. I mean, I don't see. I don't like crowds, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> Friday night, I think the investigation's just us paranormal people that are uh -huh. with the group. Okay. And then Saturday, like I said, they're wrapping up. Uh-huh. Take us to do an investigation with us. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm gonna have to bring lots of your right tail. Yeah, I, just, I just bought some new people. people. I just had to buy some new, so I'm good to go. Yeah. Oh boy. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Then we yeah, we have the one in August. So that is a new one for us. I mean, we investigated over there, but this is at the school. They haven't had school. Yeah, they, we have the, investigated school. No, they're having all vendors at the school, and, yeah. then at the, and you can pay the price to investigate with Jeff and David mm -hmm. and Josh, mm -hmm. the yeah. special guest. So you could pay the price to go and see with him, hmm? or if I remember right, that's the same day we're supposed to be in Edinburgh that night. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> so we're going to Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After it. <laughs> After we sit there all day long. Yeah. So it, yeah, that's gonna be fun too because um, I'd like to investigate with the trader. Oh bit, yeah. But I don't want to pay that high price, and I think most of the kids are almost sold out anyway. I think uh, if I remember correctly, I think they are. So. So yeah. Anyways, I mean it's fine. Then we'll, we'll mosey on over to Edinburgh. Yeah, we can get. And yeah hope, fingers crossed that it's a little bit more yeah. active. The last couple times we've been there, it's been kind of fizzled. I mean, I did get stuff thrown at me, but it, that was it, when I was just doing my walkthrough. It, and it after was, that, just... Last time it was just a hit and miss. It was like they were playing cat and mouse with Yes, yeah, right. So. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to go to some new locations because I feel like when I go to new locations, except for the big mansion, we didn't really get a whole lot there. But it was our first time there. We didn't know exactly yeah. what to really expect, so mm -hmm. I think... I think that one needs to be done. Yeah. Eventually. But like when we went to Ashmore, Indiana State, we'd never been there before. And holy oh, hell. Oh, yeah. We got a lot. Very active. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's kind of hit and miss with those things. I'm hoping when we go to Barnett yeah. next month that we get some activity. Yeah. It's like at, at the Baby Mansion, we were so nice and everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should get them cranky. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Well, I still have I still, I have a scar there from whatever that was that I woke up with. I don't know. It looked like a burn. It's like, it, but it's like shaped like an eye. Like you got an eyebrow and like an eye right here. Well, look at the Mason house. It was quiet for me yeah. and you. Uh-huh, yeah. So, so you went to sleep and I went to go to bed. Then they wanted to play the flashlight game and I wanted to go to bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was quiet till then. Yeah. I don't know, but it's, it is what it is. They come, you know, we can go to come out on command, but, you know, sometimes I just need that because then I lose all hope that I hope maybe everything that I you know, have had in the past is just something imaginative in my head or something, you know, I don't know, but it's like, I, I just need something to happen to help me be like, okay, here we go. Light a fire under my ass again. Well, I even tried at the baby house. I said, I become a skeptic because there is no ghost. Yeah. And we still couldn't get them to come out. I know. <laughs> I was nice about it, but I uh -huh. just say, I become a skeptic again because there ain't no ghost. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know, but I figured maybe that would draw it. No, nothing. I mean, I got touched on the walkthrough like when we were getting the tour, but that was about it. And they had that weird, I don't know what it was, that, that noise. I don't know if it was like, it sounded like a music box off in the distance or something. And we're trying to figure it out. Some of us scared, some of us couldn't, but I caught it on the recorder. Yeah, it sounded like the music box was going off, but we're sitting in front of it, so it wasn't going off. And then when Susie went down and played the piano down there, the mm -hmm. it did kind of sound like that. Yeah, so we didn't know if it was a piano being played. Yeah, because we were trying to figure out where that sound's coming from. We were chasing that all over the, the house, and then it kind of stopped, and then it totally got quiet, 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 quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope that our net, we have never been there, mm -hmm. so I hopefully it's rambunctious. I hope so. I hope we have so much stuff that we don't even know what to do. I hope that this is going to make me have to bring depends on next investigation. <laughs> I might, like, shock myself or pee myself because I get so whipped up over this occasion. That's what I need. That's what I need. <laughs> I'm just going to start bringing an extra set. Well, I want it me. to get more active because when it gets active, I don't go outside to have as many cigarettes. But if it's boring, I go out and have a lot of cigarettes. I, I, go fall more. I fall asleep. I go through more cigarettes. I just cut out. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. I mean, I only made it till 11.30 at Mason House. And then we went to Beatty. I think we made it to about 1 o'clock and then we went to bed. Yeah, because it was so quiet. We didn't stick around any longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But other than that, I just... I Beatty know. House was neat. Oh, yeah. It's a very neat location. A lot of interesting stories there, but we just didn't experience a lot there. Mm-mm. So, I don't know. Usually they say the kids' room is pretty... We can get nothing in the kids' room. No, huh? Nothing. That's kind of... that where we were saying when we heard that music box, like, whatever, mm-hmm. playing? Yeah. What well, you should say, you heard it. I didn't hear it. Darren says we need to get to the museum. I don't know. How long did you lose us? Because I, I don't know. Oh, she said, I don't know, you're back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's craziness. Our... Stuff is just going bonkers. It's probably like, because, you know, we haven't used it in a while, so it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. It's it, it our show if we don't have a problem. That's right. At least you're not listening to robots like you used to, right? <laughs> Whatever it used to do. Or, you know? At least it's like that. I hope, at least I hope not, but next week the sound will probably be better. I just haven't been on the computer to dig around with it, and I had to hook everything back up, so. <clears throat> but, you know, and it's also, sometimes it's like that with Breaker. I've noticed, yeah. so. Is what it is. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Allie's laughing. <laughs> oh, no. I would get locked this out. That'll scare me. I got locked in the squirrel cage in where they set one person in there. Oh, by yeah. Itself. Uh-huh. We sat out outside the door, asked questions, and then another person was on the other side writing yeah. the question or writing down your responses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was locked in the cell. Yeah. It didn't bother me being locked in there. Yeah. Just kept looking down at the book at the EP and if they were locked up in this thing. Uh-huh. But yeah. Is there only room for you to stand and one bucket? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't sitting nowhere unless you're sitting on your bucket. Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I'm so tired. This is heat. Oh my gosh, yeah we go from one extreme to the next. Next week the heat index is supposed to be in triple digits most of the week. Oh Lord. What yeah. am I supposed to wear? I don't have no shorts that fit. I'm at the very early. Oh, I was going to say, it feels like next week. I don't know what the hell. I'm not the early in the week. Then. I got to work in the heat. You don't. No, I don't have to work in the heat. The fans just don't cut it. Where else are we going? Um, Where else are we going? Good question. We're going back to Melbourne for over two nights. Um, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> yeah. For two nights. Uh huh. I think that's. Uh, no one. Then there's the Klondike. The Klondike's right for that. That's right. Yeah, Leslie got the client like for us. Yeah, so she almost got it interfered with the Melbourne. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> so we got next month. We well, we got our next weekend at XO, and we've got July. We have Garnet. August we have Edinburgh, Klondike, and then back to Melbourne for a two nighter. And yeah. as far as I know, that's it. <laughs> so far. Yeah. So far. Yeah. And we're working on ish more for next year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love, I love to, one of these days we'll get back to Indian State. There's just some, they have a lot of places in Indiana that I would like to go to. Mm-hmm. They have some jails. I want to do that speakeasy, like, oh, I thought about taking a week off, but there been cool center vacations. Huh? <laughs> they all take oh, a yeah. vacation. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. I know. That would be, that would be. And we could hit a couple places more. Right. Yeah. That would be fun. And then they have that other place that they opened up with our the Y or White Horse or whatever that place called. Oh, with Indiana? No, it's with Garnett. Oh, with Garnett? Yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. I didn't know about that part. Yeah, so there's another one and people are talking about how they've gotten quite a bit of activity at that place too, so. Uh, I'm, yeah, I didn't know until after I, I booked. Yes, we need to get up to the museum too. Just yeah. trying to coincide everybody's schedules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next year will be crazy because graduation. You graduation. Well, you've got kids. Jennifer's got kids. Suzanne's got kids. Uh-huh. The rest of us have gotten rid of our kids. <laughs> what were you guys to catch up? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's Suzanne's kids. Oh, yeah, they're still little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Jennifer's, I think, are junior high. So yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got yeah. a way to go, too. Uh huh. Yep. Nope. Gotta work around the kids' schools. It's hard to book anything a year in advance. Mm hmm. Uh, well, we can't go there because we're already booked. Well, the only thing I know is track, and then I already know. When I'm having her graduation, because I already booked a place for it, so I know that much. She's probably gonna do softball because she didn't do it this year, so hallelujah! Because oh my, they are literally playing softball in seven days a week. 
It's ridiculous the amount of games they have. I mean, I thought she had a last year. Oh, yeah, no, they're playing pretty much every day. No. That's, that's insane. That's way too much. No one of these kids have get burnt out. Burn out and get all these injuries and they have to get surgeries at such an early age. That's, well, look at this. She won a scholarship for softball, but she was so burnt out, she didn't want to play softball anymore. So she yeah. canceled she, that river scholarship. She, she lost her scholarship because she was burnt out on softball. Yeah. Too many games. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It, you get burnt out and it doesn't become fun anymore. Mm-mm. So, I don't know. Yeah, of course, I played till I was 55, 56 years old. Uh, yeah, I played till I was, when did I have my, let's see, 10, I had 20, how, how old am I? I don't know. Shit, I can't even do math in my head right now, my brain is fried. I started when I was five, so. <laughs> yeah, I did not start that young, I did it in middle school. But we didn't have as many games as they do nowadays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We check off the paranormal, you know? We start. always get off the paranormal. We start talking about something that it kind of tears off, and then sometimes we get way down rabbit hole and stuff we should not be talking about, or in there, or whatever, but, you know, we're good at that. It wouldn't be our show. We didn't do that every now and then. It's nice just to have a little chit-chat, whatever, because, because you know, we we get on with, you know, we have a lot of guests and things like that, but sometimes it's just nice to do this and then have a brief problem. If anybody has a question that's in chat, they can ask us. Or if you... Think of a topic that we can talk oh, about yeah. sometime and we don't have a guest absolutely. that you would like to, us to research for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you can always drop us a line on if you have any ideas or topics or somebody that might want to be a guest or if you're listening and you were like, hey, I want to be a guest on the show. I want to you know, talk to them about my experiences in the paranormal. Yes, up. We'd love to hear from you. You can get a hold of us on Facebook at RAP Paranormal Friends. You can get a hold of us at our email, paranormal 24 at gmail.com. Um, you know, just go with us and, and, um, we'll see what we can do. We always love to hear you, your stories and things like that, or if you have a UFO story or Sasquatch or some kind of cryptid or something that you just can't explain, we'd love to hear from you. Oh, and there was an expo that we were invited oh, to. Oh, yeah, there was. We didn't get to go because we're going to be in our net. I was trying to think of what it was called. Let's see. Yeah, I think it might be spray or actually, because it keeps buffering. I see it's buffering, so. I'm not sure what is going on here, but. <clears throat> what are you looking for? That other expo that we were invited to. Oh, yeah, to. that's right, but it yeah, interferes with our investigation of the garment. Because people would like to go to that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I don't know what it was called. <laughs> it's it's too city, I know that much. Something with the museum. Yeah. But, I can't remember, I don't know. I told about it, like, man, dang, that would have been fun to do. I would have never been there. But, it is what it is. Yeah, if anybody's listening and has an expo you want us to come to, yeah, maybe we'll show up. Other than that, we haven't really had to squat. No. Going around kids is skittles. I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's gearing up to be busy, 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 so. It's like, I've got back, back to back stuff coming up. It's crazy. So I'm going to be, wow. It's all good. Yeah. It always gets to that, and our fall usually packs up real full, and then we have a lot of investigations up until, up until about Thanksgiving. After that, we're kind of like, eh, because, you know, weather gets kind of sketchy. You don't like to drive and that stuff. I don't like to drive, period, but I mean... In snowy conditions, the last time to Melbourne, I literally almost fell down. <clears throat> Kids look for that expo, so that way, if anybody wants to go to that or is interested in it, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. I don't know. I can't remember if it was in this chat or was it in that chat. Oh, it is. Oh, 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 she might have found it. Spirits of the Roundhouse Paracon. Oh, okay. Spirits yeah, of the Roundhouse Paracon, okay. So, Sucidio. Let's see here. It sounded very interesting. Oh, yeah. They're partner- partnering with the Sioux City Railroad Museum during Sioux City's first Paracon on July 20th called the Spirits of the Roundhouse Paracon. There will be vendors, speakers, tarot card readers, a tattoo artist offering temporary tattoos. Damn! I read tattoo and I'm like, sign me up! Um, food trucks, a Miss Paranormal Pimp contest, and more. And so, that'll be interesting. Yeah, we, she contacted us. Mm-hmm. 
but we couldn't go. We had an investigation, so. Proceeds from the Paragon will benefit, benefit the continued growth at the Railroad Museum. So, it's from 10 to 6 p.m. So, if you're interested, that's where you can go. I'm trying to see, um, you could probably get a hold of Paragon 1 LLC. I'm assuming that's just putting it on. Yeah. So, if you have questions, look them up on Facebook. Um, if you were interested in checking out that expo. That just takes me the long way around to find it. <laughs> that one wouldn't interest me to go do with it. Yeah, it would. But we already had plans, so. Yeah, sure. No. <sighs> we told her to keep in mind for next year if she does it again, so. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting. I mean, I'm okay with some expos just to see what happens, but I don't expect a lot. But, you know, it's always fun to talk to new people. That's what I like about it. Just talking to new people, meeting new people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listening to their stories. Yep. Get some interesting ones. Yeah, you do. Mm hmm. Sure do. But it's fun. It's fun to listen to those things, so, you know. It is what it is. I don't know how much we'll talk about. I have no idea. Well, because we've pretty much, yeah, pretty much covered our schedule. Yeah, we did. We did. Who, who are we got next week? Us again? Yeah, us <laughs> again. Because, like, everybody <laughs> wants to do pre recorded so I'm trying to get some live feeds in, live shows in before, you know, the end of the year, so. But he wants to do our show live, hit us up. Um, but yeah, I, I've got two or three pre recordings already done and ready to roll out, though. I'm just trying to get a few of these in before our schedule gets busy and, you know, have to have to pre record it. Well, we could do another live investigation, but it was boring last time. I know it was. <gasps> the wheels are turning. Huh? Hmm, the wheels are turning. Hmm? Are going to be going? I think so. We might be able to do somewhere. <laughs> we'll have to see, because I'm not sure exactly when that's happening. But we might, we might be able to hit up a different spot. Or we could try to work, but... Oh, yeah. But it was quiet last time, too. Yeah, it was. It ain't quiet today, but it's quiet. Yeah, typical. Typical. Hello? Hello? What? Hello, lady. Right? Hello, hello, hello. Like they say on the story, and my computer just shut off. My computer just shut off. That's why they're not hearing us. Huh? There it is. That is so weird. Like, my computer just literally just shut off. That's why they were saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My computer is possessed. It's possessed. That's it. That's what it is. That's our problem. I guess. I guess so. No. Is there got any questions for us? I don't see any questions in chat. Um, Darren said he's fried. He doesn't have any questions, which is shocking. I think we've answered the majority of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, it was nice to actually... Because he gets up with some good questions. But... I know. Man, it was nice to see some people in chat, though. I mean, come on. You could still listen to our pre recorded <laughs> Leave a little message. Be like, oh, yeah, we listen to this. Yeah, great. Whatever, you know? <laughs> Just do it. Is the ones in chat, do they have a subject they want us to research? I don't see anybody put it there yet. Anything? Anything may be interesting that we may not know anything about, but we'll tr give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> We can give it a whirl. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if you do, you can leave it in the, leave it in the chat. Um, like I said, for our listeners, you know, check out on our social media. Um, see what we're up to. Check out our lives. We're on investigations. Kim posts a lot of those on her Facebook page at um, Kim at a Purpose, and then she transfers them over to our REP Paranormal and Friends page. Um, so check them out. See what we're up to. Stop by. Say hi on our page. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, and make we sure... will try to go live if we can this weekend, but if we can't, I am sorry. Oh, yeah, this weekend? Yeah, this weekend. Yeah. I will try, but I can't guarantee it. Yeah, you just never know. Never know what we're going to be able to do, or how many people, or what's going to go on. Something. And pray the singing bowls aren't near Alice and upstairs. Oh, Lord, have mercy on any of us old brass to see me. The singing bowl next to me. And we're going to have a bad night if they're upstairs with us. No, <laughs> yes, we will. I'm hoping they're downstairs. Mm hmm. Me too, me too, because I can't handle those people. Oh, there's I can't. Plus, I don't have those next up here. Mm -mm. And the time that we got stuck by at the Ames Expo, and I was like, yep. And, it, and they drove me nuts, and then there was that one particular uh, guy who kept walking by, who really, and I just kept walking by. And, walking, and the coyote was like, is there something wrong with you? And I'm like, there's something over there, some energy, whatever, that I can't. He's like, well, let me walk with you and see if we can figure out who it is. 
And he's like, do you feel it? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, I think it's the person who's like, got it. <laughs> but they were over by those damn singing bowls. And the singing bowls just, oh, my gosh. They just give me a headache. I don't know. They do something to me that they have the opposite reaction <laughs> on me, I guess. Full on make my eyes go black. Head spin around. I don't know. <laughs> but, anywho. Well, that's a heads up for Jen, I should text her and say heads up for this weekend if she's near the singing bowls. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, Darren's and Nancy finds she's all about UFOs. Huh? We'll have to check into we'll, we'll have to check that out then. Because we like to talk about UFOs or Bigfoot too. Oh, yeah. I want to go. I want to be able to sit somewhere where I can watch for you. Perfect place. And on the roof. You could go flat like this and watch that skyline. And I'm pretty sure there's a Bigfoot out in those trees already. <laughs> so there is one out there and I'll find it. And I'm pretty sure there's one at Rebecca's, too. Ask get me deer out there. That noise, whatever it was, I am not the only one who s- says that. There is Sasquatch out there. There has to be. you got the trees, you got the water. Yeah. Or, you got this Indian spirit out there. Uh-huh. So it'd be anything. Yeah, that's true. They just pop in and out. It's an adventure. We don't know. Oh. We just don't know. Don't but that's know. another place we need to get back to. Cambridge House. Yeah, we have been out there here. That's a new place. Uh, yeah, I know. We least there once. Yeah, yeah. We haven't yet, but... <sighs> Maybe no, she's sure. been at all the expos that we've been at. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Because she's going to be the one at Benton, I know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Ugh. Okay, well, then, I guess. Well, Sorry, we didn't have much to talk about. Well, if you're all something to talk about next week, we always do. So, um, I'd like to thank Ruby's in chat. We had Allie and Nico Ben, and, of course, I was in chat, so thank you to everybody else in chat. Thank you to everybody who's not in chat but listening. We appreciate each every one of you. You're by the Melbourne area. Come out and see us next weekend. Yes, absolutely. Stop by, say hi. Make sure I'm not possessed by a fan. <laughs> Would be amazing. Maybe a Sabrina or a Margarita. To get me through this because I do like a lot of people. <laughs> oh, that's what's going to get me. All right, everybody. Hope everyone stays cool and peace out until next time.